there it is. Earl of Sandwich. Not going there today though. No, I'm not. Only reason is because I desperately need to save some money. I'm about to, about to spend quite a bit of money. Hello everyone, welcome and welcome back. We are getting right into it today. Just the other week I was over in this area, in the Oldsmar area at a Walmart. Today I am at Target, but it is not for plant related activity today. Today we are doing something very, very different. We are talking about something very, very different. And um, so I'm just gonna get right into it because it's gonna be a lot of talking, a lot of things. Um, so today I happened upon a documentary, a four part documentary um, on HBO Max. Now I will look up the name of that documentary uh, after this and I will put it down in the description below for you if you're interested in watching it. But um, basically it was about the not so pretty side of uh, beauty products and um, the things that we use basically on a daily basis. Uh, so not just makeup and uh, Things like that, but also like shampoo, deodorant, lotion, um, all, all of that fun, fun stuff. And um, basically all of the really disgusting, not so great ingredients, things that they put inside of these products uh, that are actually incredibly harmful. Uh, for us, for our skin, um, not even just like the environment and all of that, although that's a huge, huge part of it as well, but for us, for our health and our safety. Long story longer, um, it really got me thinking about the products that I use on a daily basis. And um, I actually went through pretty much all of the products that I use just about and um, kind of figured out like, okay, what is safe for me? What is not safe for me based on the things that I just learned? And wow, was it a lot of stuff? <laughs> it was a lot of stuff. So I was like, you know what? I'm gonna go to Target after, after work and uh, maybe a couple of other places as well to kind of refresh and revamp my uh my my beauty products my skincare products and all of that stuff right right uh seagull they agree so that's pretty much what i'm gonna be doing today um i was gonna do this anyway and then i thought well you know what since i am doing it why not take you all along with me and uh kind of go over this spiel this spiel with you all um and the reasoning behind why i'm doing this and, and all that stuff and i'm gonna get into that a little bit more later and as we're like looking at products um, so for now let's just head inside Target and get out of this uh, relatively busy parking lot okay let's go okay inside of Target now I'm going to start with the thing that horrified me the most and that is learning about powders so I just picked up a random um, palette uh, eye palette here and if I look at the ingredients the first ingredient on here is talc which is basically obviously talcum powder and now the thing about talc is that it is also um, derived from the same place that um, asbestos comes from as well so the thing is is if you see anything with talc in it it more than likely also has asbestos, which is not good. <laughs> it's really not, it's not a good thing that causes cancer. That's not, uh, it's not something that you wanna be rubbing all over your face. Now it's gonna be like just kind of trace amounts of, uh, of asbestos in it. But if you're using makeup and powders for a long time, that's obviously gonna have quite an effect on it and then so see here I picked up just another random powder this one also first ingredient has talc in it so my goal is to find something that doesn't have talc in it that has something else besides that cornstarch is usually a pretty good um, replacement for talc so we will see if we can find uh, if we can find that so here is a 
company that I actually have started to fall in love with. I got their uh, CC cream not too long ago and so far I've been using it for, I don't know, maybe like a week or two and I absolutely love it. Um, thank goodness. So, so far I'm very happy with the brand and they seem to have very, very uh, conscientious ingredients. So, like I picked up a uh, eyeshadow palette here and in their ingredients, no talc. So, yay, this is a, I highly, highly, highly suggest um, looking into this company. Thanks a lot, Jessica Alba. Um, again, I'm very happy with the CC cream. That's been working out very well for me. Um, and they have a bunch of other stuff as well as like baby products and shampoos and things like that too, so yay. Oh yeah, and the prices, that's important. The prices I found have been very, very fair. And if you're like me and if you live here in Florida or anywhere else where it's super, super humid, you really, really need your powder. Um, for me, I have decently oily skin sometimes, so I can't, for me, like I feel like I cannot go without some kind of powder to um, use throughout the day as my skin becomes basically an oil slick. Honest Beauty, I swear I am not sponsored by them, but no talc in their, uh, in their powder, in their loose powder here. Very few ingredients, so that's really good. So this is something that I will be investing in today because again, this for me is like, it's a must. Another thing that I wanted to share and that has helped me figure out uh, the products that I already have and also get a game plan for um, shopping here is uh, there's an app. There is an app. So this is the app that I downloaded here Healthy Living, EWG Healthy Living. And um, it's really cool, you can type in any product here. You can see if I've already been doing quite a lot of uh, research here. Um, you can type in a product or you can scan in a barcode. So let's take this uh, Coco Kind here. Not like a definitive list or anything, so it's not gonna have everything in there. Um, I've found, but it has a decent amount of things and you can already kind of get an idea of um, how it rates on like the clean scale I guess you could say so green if you see the green on the side here that means that it's uh it's pretty clean it doesn't have too many uh, ingredients in there that are that can be bad for you when you see the orange and the red that's when you want to kind of be a little bit uh, worried the next thing I want to talk about is fragrance which you will find is in a lot of things that we use on a daily basis. Okay, whenever you see fragrance, just fragrance on there, that just means basically anything. It's just like essentially a mix of chemicals that the companies basically don't have to list in any great detail. So it can be all kinds of harmful uh, stuff, harmful chemicals that you are putting on your scalp, in on your body with, with lotion and, and all kinds of, you know, perfume, all kinds of things, you would be surprised has uh, just general fragrance in it. There, see, fragrance right here. No uh, explanation of what it is exactly, just simply Simply fragrance. Hey everyone, Chris from the future here, already performing some skincare routine. But um, I wanted to interrupt really quick and um, go over why fragrances are not so great. Because I don't think I explained it very well in the video I was in Target. And just thinking about it on the car ride home, I was like, I don't really know if I actually like explained it very well. Why is she going crazy over fragrances sort of thing? So um, the reason that the simple word fragrance in all of these products really sucks basically is because I'm gonna read it actually directly off of the app. The word fragrance or parfum 
Uh, on the product label represents an undisclosed mixture of various scent chemicals and ingredients used as fragrance, uh, fragrance disper dispersants such as diethyl phthalate. Oh, sorry. Uh, they have been associated with allergies, dermatitis, respiratory distress, and potential effects on the reproductive system, which is kind of the uh, the biggest issue there. It's basically just a list of undisclosed chemicals that these companies are putting in there and they don't tell you what exactly they are and a lot of them can be very very damaging um, and not good for you. So whenever you see the word fragrance just assume it's just a mixture of disgustingness basically um, and just like not knowing what exactly you're putting on your face and like the long-term effects of that even the short-term effects of that is like really weird and scary and um, same thing with the talc and uh, that being associated with asbestos is like disgusting the fact that I've been like smearing that on my face for years and years is like kind of horrifying because um, that can like lead to cancer and stuff like that um, so and and you know for me like one of the reasons that this is so important to me and I don't think I explained it, just adjusting my oil here. I don't think I explained that very well either. Oh no, I broke him. I'm sorry, Mr. Whale. Anyway, I'll stop messing with it now. Anyway, um, I myself have like plenty of health issues and, and things that are unexplained with me that I don't know why I feel poorly. And after learning what I learned today, uh, it's very, very possible that the products that I am using could be uh, because of that. And um, like on that documentary, a lot of the people that uh, talked and explained their story, um, I kind of like, oh, hey, like I've had that symptom, I've had that symptom, I've had that symptom. So it's like, well, maybe, maybe the products that I'm using is uh, affecting my health. But anyway, I just kind of wanted to talk about that a little bit more. Um, just in case I didn't explain it well enough in the video. So, okay, back to it, to whatever part of the adventure I am on. Okay, there we go, now. One of the biggest questions that I have is how do you find deodorant that doesn't have fragrance in it? Because that's, again, like sort of the point, right? I looked through a bunch of these, usually I use Dove, and yes, I do actually need deodorant at this time anyway, so I am taking a look and seeing what they have. A lot of them, again, have fragrance, even like the, uh, the organic products have fragrance in it. But I did find one here that didn't have any, any fragrance in there. I checked on the ingredients on the back, I also checked it in the app, and it was good to go. So I think I'm going to give this a shot. It's not even that much more expensive than the other stuff. A heck of a lot more expen uh, less expensive than native. Holy moly. So uh, yeah, I'm gonna give this a shot and hopefully I, uh, hopefully I won't be smelling too funky. Alrighty, heading out of Target now. Got my Poitras's. This one tiny little bag full of stuff was like 80 bucks. Now it wasn't this, it's not all beauty supplies. There was other things that I had to had to get in here too but uh yeah man I always spend so much money at Target so much more money than I than I truly have which by the way I uh tried out Apple Pay for the first time so I just stuck my phone right up to the little uh card reader and um was able to pay that way so used my credit card and uh yay yet more yet more crippling debt that i am getting into always a always a fun feeling also some rain it looks like maybe heading our way quite possibly i guess we'll see okay so that uh basically what i bought in regards to what we are speaking about today was the deodorant and a powder. 
the loose uh, loose powder that I said was very 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 important to me I'll let you know how both go uh, if you're interested in, in finding out um, how it goes both are very important and crucial for living here in Florida um, and being in a warm climate and you know summer's coming up and all of that good stuff so we're gonna be smelling a little funky and we're gonna be having really really oily skin that is uh, the life of me basically living well basically living anywhere honestly I sweat I, I sweat a lot it's just a disclaimer for you um, so these are very important products to me but anyway um, I kind of wanted to dive a little bit more deeper into into all of this for you it may seem like slightly out of left field like why am I talking about this and like where did this all come from and I know I explained the documentary for you, but um, it's also something that's kind of just, uh, it's important to me. It's something that I'm passionate about. Um, I'm, a, I'm a firm believer that um, money is power. Specifically where you put your money is power. I've always been into doing my research on products and not in trying to limit the amount of just blindly shopping for things just because, especially when it comes to beauty products. Now, it kind of doesn't sound that way because I'm only just now finding out, finding out about talc, <laughs> talcum powder, but um, regardless, uh, I guess more so in the, in the sense of, like I try to find brands that are, for example, maybe a, a smaller business, maybe not such a big business, like Johnson & Johnson, for example, or I, I don't know, like I, I try to go for like smaller businesses or uh, women-led businesses or um, black-led businesses, you know, stuff like that, like trying to support people and things that are uh, a little bit more important because again, I am a firm believer that where you spend your money it is uh, it's very very powerful and it's it, it means a lot. I feel like I kind of muddled all of that up but hopefully you get what I'm saying. Um, and I say all of this too like not as a hey y'all should do that like you need to do this or you're a bad person or whatever because I'm not saying that at all. It's just I'm trying to give some context as to where I'm coming from with all of this because I'm just naturally that kind of person um, who is passionate about this sort of thing. So once I learned about this today, I was like, that was all that I thought about today. That was all that I researched. Like I spent my whole day um, pretty much researching this stuff and um, I'm passionate about it. So I thought, well, I might as well share it with you all too. That's what the, the vlog is all about, is sharing, sharing the things that I learned, sharing my hobbies, sharing my interests. So this is part of it. Anyway, I will get more into that later as well. I know, how can she talk about this yet even more? But I can. So anyway, we're gonna go to our next destination. I have one more destination that I wanna go to uh, before we wrap this up. So, okay. Let's, uh, let's turn on the car and go there. Oh my goodness, you can't really see the name of the store because the tree is blocking it out, but Earth Fair is open. Oh, I'm so excited. This is a uh, organic grocery store. I've been to one, I think before, I don't, uh, quite a while ago, and uh, Tampa Jay and I have been eyeing this place for a really, really long time. Like, when's it gonna open? When's it gonna open? And oh my gosh, it's open. So I am totally gonna walk inside and check it out before I go inside of my destination. But yay, what a what a happy little accident. Before I head inside though, um, let me just uh, keep uh, talking about this very depressing and not so great topic. Um, for which I very much apologize. I very much apologize. The beauty industry is not like, for example, the food industry where it's not very well regulated. Um, a lot of these companies pretty much get away with murder, more or less literally, uh, because they don't have to disclose the all of the chemicals that they use. They don't have to disclose the testing processes on it all. 
Um, it's a really, really shady business, uh, which is pretty crazy because it's supposed to be, you know, beauty products, the things that we use to make ourselves feel better and to be clean and, you know, and makeup and, and perfume and all of that stuff as well. And by the way, this counts for everybody out there who uses makeup and all of that stuff but it's not just about makeup when i say beauty products i i mean you know soap lotion deodorant the things that literally every single person out there uses basically point with that is um when it comes to beauty products it really is up to us the consumer to pick and find the brands that we are comfortable with using um, we have to, it's it's up to us to do the research until things change you know laws are passed and all of that stuff which we know how quickly that goes uh, it's 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 up to us we have to be the ones to uh, take it into our own hands and uh, pick out the products that we want to use um, so I understand that like doing that is really really cumbersome and it takes a lot of time because guess what it took a lot of my time today a lot of my time um, and that's frustrating and I know a lot of us don't have that time to spend on this stuff again it's a topic that I'm passionate about so I don't mind spending the time on it that's why I haven't filed my taxes for example because I put my time into the things that matter to me <laughs> And my taxes are not on that list. I will, I will, I, they're in my car right now. I'm gonna, I will file them. It's been a whole thing with a thing. Anyway, I'm gonna go inside of that Earth Fair, check that out. I'm so excited. I love grocery stores. And uh, then we're gonna head over to, yeah, to the Ulta over there and uh, keep going with this, uh, with this video. So, okay, let's go. Earth Fair, I'm so excited. Showing all my, uh, hippie, healthy, organic colors today. By the way, this is another brand that I found that um, is pretty good, like doesn't have any fragrances or things like that. Very hard to find, like I said, with soaps, lotions, all of that stuff, so everyone everyone good brand avalon organics is another brand that's been really good i've found um i've actually used this from time and time again it's a little bit more expensive than i usually like to pay for my shampoos and conditioners especially because the bottle's so small so i go through it like really quick but it's uh it's clean so that's that's good and that's important no fragrances in here again very very hard to find that very hard to find that with shampoos and conditioners, so that is an option. All right, so I ended up buying a couple of things. I got a coffee for tomorrow, actually. I'm not gonna drink it now. And I did get a lotion, since it's something that I already needed anyway, and so this will be a great opportunity for me to try this brand out. Let you all know how it is if uh, if you're interested in that. I also got uh, this uh, kombucha. And I've had this one before, not this specific flavor. But I'm really excited to try it. And um, I might as well say also that uh, this video's coffee, or kombucha in this case, is uh, sponsored by MC. Thank you MC for buying me a few coffees. Um, I really appreciate it. Thank you for the support of the channel as well. I'm so glad that you are enjoying the content. And um, I also want to say welcome aboard to, uh, to new members. I have Mike and I have Mark. Mark, are my, Mark and Mike are my two new coffee buddies. So thank you both very, very much for joining the channel. Welcome aboard. I really appreciate the support. And uh, hope you hope you enjoy going forward. So okay, it is now time to head inside of the spooky-looking Ulta. Ooh, 
So this is the main reason why I wanted to go to Ulta, take you here in the first place because of this brand here, Juice Beauty. This is actually what I use myself. I use their cleanser and I've used a bunch of other things as well. Um, this is a great company because they are not only organic, I believe they're organic, they're clean at least, and um, but they also have, uh, they're, they're, they're led by women. It's a women-led company. So I love, yes, organic. Um, so I love that, uh, that this company exists and um, so far I've been really happy with their products. This is uh, one of their blushes which they have a cream blush, which is of course a great way to avoid the, um, the issue of talc is to go with just a cream type of blush or um, bronzer or whatever. So this is a good option that I'm thinking about getting and it's $25. And I wanna take a look at their powders just because and indeed it is used with cornstarch, so no talc in their powders as well. But yeah, I, I can't recommend this brand enough. Like I said, I've, I've been using it actually for quite a while and I'm really, really happy with it. So that, there's an option. They have skincare stuff as well as, uh, as well as beauty items, makeup items too. So currently I'm in kind of a quandary because this is what I was looking for in terms of a conditioner and shampoo, The Ordinary, very good brand. I'm gonna get into this in a second, but look how tiny this little bottle is. Now it's only $8, so that's fine, but um, I'm gonna go through this in no time. I have a lot of hair and um, it just doesn't make sense to me to get a tiny little $8 bottle of conditioner um, when I'm I'm just gonna blow through it. So I'm kind of looking around trying to find something else that will work um, This is a decent brand here as a, another example. I remember looking this up earlier, but it is um, well It's rather expensive for again a relatively tiny bottle of uh, conditioner, so This is the quandary. This is the issue a huge huge issue with this um, with this problem with finding things without fragrances and trying to find something that is that is good for you you have to you have to pay for it most of the time All right well holy guacamole that was probably the low the most amount of time I've ever spent in an Ulta let me show you what I got here so I did end up going with the conditioner for The Ordinary, um, it got good reviews on the app that I showed you and um, it doesn't have any fragrance in it. In fact, it has very, very few ingredients in general. So very happy about that. I have heard good things about this brand. I think it's really trendy right now. I, th I think actually, which is hilarious because I never do trendy things, but um, you know what, if it's gonna have very few ingredients in their products, and if it actually works well, then hey, more power to them. So I'm gonna have to do more research on uh, conditioners that will uh, work out, but for now, this is fine. I'll give it a shot, and then again, if you all are interested, I'll let you know how it goes. Um, and I got the blush, the Juice Beauty blush. As far as a bronzer goes, which was the other thing I was looking for, um, that was very difficult to find as well. I ended up going with this. Uh, the brand is Well People, and eventually, eventually the camera will focus. There we go. Well People, which I believe is a good brand. I don't mind spending a little bit more money if I know that it's going to be okay for me, that I'm not rubbing like a bunch of nonsense into my skin. I'm willing to pay the extra money for that. And I'm not really in a position to do so, to be quite honest, but I'm gonna try to think of other things that I can cut back on in order to make that work for me. Plus, the makeup 
the makeup at least that I just bought, that's gonna last me a really long time, so it's kind of more of, a, of an investment. Um, the shampoo and the conditioner is another story, but I think that there's a lot of other options. Like I saw more options in the Earth Fair grocery store that we were just in than in Ulta, so that may just be the answer there. Um, but yeah, um, that's pretty much gonna do it for this video. Hopefully that's a short video. It probably won't be though, because I did a lot of talking and I'm about to do a lot more talking. Like I said, this consumed my entire day. Um, and is that really necessary? I don't know. I don't really know. Um, but that's the kind of person that I am. And this channel is about me, so this is what we did today. I would have done this anyway, even if I didn't have a camera. So I just decided might as well take you all along with me. Um, and again, like, this is not supposed to be a you should do this, you have to do this, go throw away all of your co cosmetics and, and, you know, soaps and stuff like that. Like, rawr, you can't do that. Like, I'm not saying that in any way, shape, or form. It's just simply me learning something new today, something new to me, and sharing it with you all. And this was my experience of trying to basically do an overhaul of my beauty stuff. Um, so anyway, like I kept saying throughout the video, if you're interested in me maybe doing more of this, maybe showing more of this journey uh, of finding clean products to use, I mean, and not just like makeup and, and shampoo and all of that stuff, but, it, but all, I mean, it's all kinds of stuff. It's, it's household products, cleaning products. It's all kinds of things. Um, I'd be more than happy to do that. I, I can definitely delve into this a lot deeper. <laughs> trust me um and if you're interested in reviews or anything like that too like i didn't really think that that's what this channel would uh would have would have videos of like reviews and things like that but i'd be happy to do that i think that'd be fun so for example this is good this is really good uh this health aid kombucha apple snap it's like it's like a sparkly apple juice I really appreciate you all watching. I appreciate you taking the time to listen to me blabber about this sort of thing. Um, hopefully this was somewhat interesting. Maybe it gave you some ideas. Maybe it didn't. I don't know. Uh, but hey, it happened. So here we are. Um, but, but thank you. Thank you very much for watching. Um, I always appreciate it as always. I have fun things lined up for this weekend. I, I promise fun things <laughs> not so depressing things hopefully it's the only thing i have to say is this uh this whole thing is just it's really really tough and i get that and it's a tough topic and i get that and it's really hard to live a clean life in this world to find products that are that are perfect, that are clean, that come from a good business that does fair practices, etc., etc. I just bought a bunch of stuff from Ulta, <laughs> from Ulta, and uh, who knows how much money they get from these like woman-led companies and all of that stuff. So it's like, how do you live in this world and do everything absolutely perfectly the way that you should? I don't know and I'm learning along with you all and with everybody out there who's trying to do the same and I guess all I would say is it's baby steps you know you have to start somewhere if you want to start on this journey you have to start somewhere and um, for me it's like I can't overhaul absolutely everything that I own or I'd go bankrupt I just kind of picked out the things that I already needed anyway that I was running out of and um, that I deemed important like um, that I wanted to change like right away like the talc stuff like that really freaked me out the talc thing really freaks me out um, but anyway that would be if anything my biggest advice is like if you're interested in 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 this sort of thing try not to get overwhelmed with it just take it one step at a time um, and we have to do that with everything, right? Life is just simply too hard. It's just simply too hard every day to uh, to tackle everything at once. So we can only do what we can. 
um, in that moment. So again, hopefully this kind of helped a bit. Um, if you're interested in seeing more stuff like this, let me know below. Thank you all so much for watching. I really appreciate it. Fun things are on the way. And with, with that, I'm gonna stop blabbering and head home in preparation for a very busy weekend. So, okay. I will see you all next time. Bye-bye. Goodbye, spooky Alta. Still looking a little spooky with the clouds in the background. By the way, camera is doing an excellent job at shooting in uh, low light situ situations. Some people asked how the camera was going and, and suggested I do like a review of the camera. So here's a quick one. It's awesome. <laughs> 10 out of 10 would buy again. Wish I bought it sooner. Okay. All right. I'm going to go for real now. Got a lot of beauty products to try out and put away, etc. Okay. Good night, everybody. I'll see ya tomorrow. I know I just said I would go away and I don't like to use my camera when I'm driving, but I just realized it's, it's past 8 o'clock. It's 8.15 p.m. Holy butts. When did it get so late? I left probably around, I don't know, 4.30 maybe? It's been like four hours that I've been doing this. And I know that I've been filming, but that really didn't feel like that much like extra time. That was seriously like four hours of me shopping in three, pla three places. I, I'm literally like, my mouth has been open like since I realized that. That is bananas. Bananas. Poor Bella. I didn't mean, I told her I would be back really soon. Wow. It's almost bedtime. Like it's almost bedtime. What a crazy Friday night we had. Wow. <sighs> anyway. I just, I don't know, my mind is blown by that. Also, you have to check this out. The, uh, the moon up there is a full moon. And it's kind of hard to tell because now the clouds are going over it. But uh, it's a full moon up there. So, pretty crazy. Crazies are out, including me. So, yippee. Okay, moon's gone. I'm going to go too. Good night, everybody. I'll see you tomorrow. Bye-bye.